The author of the new book about Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner has a stark warning about the White House advisors who also happen to be the president's daughter and son-in-law. Vicki Ward says, quote, I think that you can't underestimate the dangers of these two. She's the author of Kushner, Inc., and she joins me now. So good to see you. Thanks, John. It's a fascinating book uh, with lots of, account, why, lots of accounts. Why do you say this? And again, a quote, you can't underestimate the dangers of Jared and Ivanka. What should we be worried about? Because they're in disguise. They're not what they seem. You know, I think that President Trump is very much in plain sight, right? I mean, 50 tweets over the weekend, you know, he, 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 the stream of consciousness comes at us all the time to the point that we're saturated. These two, um, you know, came into this administration and, and, and everybody thought that they would be uh, a moderating influence on the president, kind of like the adults in the room. But I think what my book shows is that, you know, they went in not for public service, not for altruistic reasons, but for self-service. They for have, brand. Was it well, a branding thing? I think it's for, you know, it's it's uh, for branding, but really for money, mm. uh, Don. If you, these are people who really, you know, come from a culture that disdains rules. I want you Jared, to... Jared, you know, one rule for him and Ivanka, one rule for everyone else. Okay, I want you to hold that thought because I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But let, let me, I just want to get down. This book is called um, Kushner, Inc., Greed, Ambition, Corruption. So tell us about the corruption part. Do you believe they've broken any laws? Well, I think one of the most startling things I talk about in the book is the fact that uh, the, 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 it was really Jared and not the president behind the closure of the White House visitors' logs mm -hmm. in the first spring of the transition. I mean, this is a, a, a and it was said at the time that that was done um, for security reasons. Um, but actually, what my book shows is that it was really done because Jared Kushner was networking frenetically. Um, doing all sorts of things that would cause an outcry when we learned about it a year later when the White House logs were, were reopened by, by John Kelly. He was meeting with Lloyd Blankfein, uh, then the CEO of Goldman Sachs, which was an investor in a company that Jared Kushner mm -hmm. um, had a stake in and had co-founded with his brother and had not uh, divested from and also not even disclosed initially. It was wrapped up in something else yeah. called BFPS. His his father uh, has a new opinion piece out tonight. You yes. read it. It's in the Washington Post where he defends his family, his business, and he writes about his son, Jerry Kushner. He said, at the recommendation of his legal counsel, in consultation with the Office of Government Ethics, he divested from more than 80 partnerships, including 666 Fifth Avenue, which you just mentioned, at a substantial financial sacrifice. Jared's service to the country has brought unprecedented scrutiny of the Kushner companies from the media and the government and government and investigators. We are happy to assist with all inquiries, but I must note that we are already voluntarily adhering to the strictest standards to avoid even the appearance of conflicts. As a result, we have passed up on many business opportunities that we normally would have pursued. So you write about the 666 Kushner property. Yes, I do. His father is pushing a back against that. I, I think I have to, I've just read what Charles Kushner wrote. I think this is the fairy tale this is, uh, from start to finish, this is this, uh, a version of events that Charles Kushner wishes were true. Uh, so you write about, in your, about Ivanka. You say Ivanka has made no secret of the fact that she wants to be the most powerful woman in the world. Her father's reign in Washington, D.C. Uh, is, she believes, the beginning of a great American dynasty. And then you go on to talk about it. She thinks it's like the Kennedys and it's like the Bushes. Yeah. So at the convention, one of their surrogates told me the exact same story. There you go. That it was... That's how they perceive this to be, yes. as a dynasty, yes. much like the Kennedys. Right. Where does she get all this confidence? <laughs> well, Seriously, for someone who's not qualified to be in government. Yeah, so I use a term in the book, actually about the, one of Jared's um, employees uses about him, but it, you know, he and Ivanka are very similar, uh, the reality distortion field. You know, I think they live mm -hmm. in a bubble. Um, and uh, you know, she, Ivanka herself, wrote in one of her books, uh, perception is more important than reality. And I think that explains exactly... That, and that, that explains her father. 
more than anything, he wants to appear strong more than the reality of what's actually happening. One more, another anecdote from the book that really stands out to me is how Ivanka defended her father when Gary Cohen was consider Cohen was uh, consider considering resigning because of the very fine people on both sides thing. And this is what she said. She said, my dad's not a racist. He didn't mean any of it. That's not what he said. How, that's exactly what he said. It's on tapes. How shocking is that? What is, what's yeah, well, I, I think that that story is the sort of moral center of the book. That is, you know, that is the heart of the book. You just have to think about that mm -hmm. and think about that deniability and think about what, what that says about who she really is. Yeah. Um, White House officials have dismissed the book. A spokesman for Jared Kushner's attorney said that you have written a book of fiction. How do you respond to that? Well, look, that was Sarah Sanders, right? Mm -hmm. I'll state my credibility against hers any time. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Vicki Ward. Thank you. Fascinating. Thank, Thank you. you.